Now, we all understand the importance for small businesses to transition online. However, when networking, professionals still expect a physical business card. Try networking without one, big mistake. Nothing gives your business that strong professional first impression like handing over a business card to a potential client. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel. I hope you're all doing well. Now today I'm going to briefly share how you can quickly and easily create professional business cards in minutes without needing any previous design experience. And we're going to create, design and print these business cards through the all-in-one design platform called Canva. Okay, now before we go ahead and get started with this tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip your small business with the tools, skills and knowledge to grow online. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into my computer, dive into Canva and create your professional business cards. <music> Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into Canva to create, design and print our professional business cards. Now the first thing we need to do is sign up to Canva if you don't already have an account. What you can simply do is type in canva.com into your browser or you can click our affiliate link down below in the description and that's going to take you here. Now it's important to note that if you decide to upgrade through the affiliate link, we will get a small commission and this just supports us and helps us create educational content for this channel. So thank you for advance if you decide to use the affiliate link. And then simply navigate over to start your free pro trial. Now this allows you to get started with the pro plan, the paid version of Canva, completely for free for 30 days. Then if you decide you like Canva Pro, you can upgrade to their paid plan after 30 days. Or you can get started completely for free. And if you realize you need access to paid elements and photos, you can always upgrade to the paid plan at any time. So go ahead and sign up or sign in and we'll meet you inside Canva. Okay, so once you've signed up and signed in to your Canva account, simply navigate up to this search bar and then go ahead and type in business cards and simply hit search or come down and click business card under suggested searches. And that's going to take you to over 3,800 pre-made business card templates that you can choose from and customize the way that you like. So what you can do is simply scroll through all these different pre-made business card templates if you like, or you can navigate over to create a blank business card. Now as a complete beginner with very limited design experience, we suggest you get started with a pre-made template and then just customize the template the way that you like. So for example, I could select this business card template here. And as you can see, that's taken us to this pre-made business card template that we can now customize the way that we like. Now, if we navigate over to the left hand side, you can see that we have templates selected. This allows us to search for specific templates that resonates with our brand and business within the business card templates. Now, let's say, for example, I want to find a business card with a orange theme. This is because my brand, my business has an orange branding color. So what I could do is simply click on the search bar and then type in orange and hit enter and come down to recent or suggested. And as you can see, that's going to generate dozens and dozens of business card templates with an orange theme. So what I'm going to do is search through all these business cards and search for a business card that you like the look of that you want to customize. And I like the look of this business card template that I've just discovered. And as you can see, there is one of two pages, meaning there is a front and back side of this business card that we can customize the way that we like. Now, it's important to note that when you see this little pro icon down here, that means that you do need Canva Pro in order to use that template. 
And like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, you can trial Canva Pro for free for 30 days. And if you don't like Canva Pro, you can always downgrade to the free plan before the 30 days and you won't be charged. Now, on the other hand, if you decided to just use Canva's free plan, then you can access templates that have free down in the bottom right hand corner. However, what I'm going to do is go ahead and select this template down here. And then I'm going to go ahead and select the first page, the front side of this business card. And then what I can do is navigate down here and click plus, which is adding an additional page. And then I can simply navigate up to the second page of this theme, which is the back side of this business card and click on it to add the back side of this business card. And as you can see, I now have the back of this business card and I also have the front of this business card template. Now, each of the elements you can see on this business card, we can customize the way that we like. So for example, with these text elements, what we can do is simply click on the text element that we want to customize and we can go ahead and simply change the text to the text that we want to add. In this case, I'm going to add my name. And as you can see, I've added my name. Now what I can do is I can expand this box to fit in all the text in one line. Now I can also drag the corners and I can change the size of the text in this particular box. And if we navigate up to the top, you can see we have more formatting options available for us to further customize each of the text elements. So what I'm gonna do is come down here and change this text to project director. And I'm happy with that. Now what I can also do is I can drag and drop each of these elements where I like. So the great thing about using templates is you can customize all of these different elements the way that you like. Now, when it comes to the information that you want on your business card, you should have your business logo, company name, your name, job title, website, and the contact details of your business. For example, email, phone number, and the address. And if you like, you can also add social media icons. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and add all this information. Now, because my business, my personal brand is called Stuart Gould, which is my name, I don't need to add Stuart Gould again for the company name as well as for my name. So I'm just gonna have Stuart Gould here. Then we have my job title down here. I'm gonna go ahead and change this phone number to a random phone number for the purpose of today's tutorial. Then come down and add your website. And then down here, we want to add our address. Now you can see that we're missing our email address. So what I can do is navigate over to elements below templates and then navigate up here and search for email. And then what I wanna do is find an email icon that looks similar to these other icons that are being used in this business card template. So I like the look of this icon here. I'm gonna click it and then navigate up to color. And then these are the document colors for this template. So I want to change this to orange and then go ahead and resize this email element. So I can do that and then drag this element over here. Still looks quite big. So what I can do is I can scroll closer or zoom into the template and then simply find that icon and then drag it into the right size. Now next to email, I need the same formatting as I have down here. So there's this line element and then we have the text element. So what I can do is click on this text element, then I can hold shift and I can click on this line element and then I can right click, select copy and then navigate up here, right click and click paste. And then I can go ahead and drag these elements into the right position and I'm happy with that. And you can see that it's quite close. So what I can do is click on this element, this element up here and this element. So that's three elements that I've grouped and I can drag that up the page. Now I'm going to change this text to my email and I like the look of that. Now what I can do is zoom out again by navigating down the page and simply zooming out just like this. Now, what I can also do is highlight all these different elements. So if I highlight all these elements, that's going to group those elements and I can make all those elements slightly smaller or I can drag them to different positions on this page. 
So I'm happy with that. Now what I need to do is add a logo. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is navigate over to uploads and then click on upload media to upload my logo. And here's my business logo that I wanna upload and add to my business card. All I need to do is click on the logo to add it to this business card. And then I can drag and simply place the logo where I like. So I like the look of that. I'll slightly resize the logo and that looks great to me. Now, if you currently don't have a logo for your business, then what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in our description that will take you through the process of creating a logo for your business completely for free using Canva. The logo you can see that I made up here, I made in minutes with Canva. Now, what I'm quickly gonna do is copy all this information on my business card and slightly move it up my business card so I have room down below. And what I can do is go ahead and add social media icons that show people where they can find me on social media. So to do that, all we would do is navigate up to elements and then simply type in the social media icon that you want to add. For example, I can type in Facebook icon and as you can see down here, Canva has suggested Facebook icons. So if I click here, that's gonna generate all these Facebook icons. So I like the look of this basic circular icon. I can click here. And then again, I wanna change the color so it matches my theme for this business card. And that is orange. So what I can do is navigate up to colors over here. You can see that there's a blue color and a white color. So what I wanna do is change the blue, which is the outside color. And I can do that by navigating down here and selecting a color. Now, again, we have our document colors here. So what I could do is click orange here. However, if you do not have the color that you're after on your document colors, what you can also do is navigate to a color on your template, for example. And let's say you like the look of the color on one of these elements, you could simply navigate up to the color and then navigate over to this add a new color and then come down and simply copy this color code down here by right clicking and selecting copy. Then all you'll do is select the element that you want to change the color and then go ahead and select add a new color and then come down here and simply paste in that color code that you just copied. So there's two ways you can do it. You can simply copy and paste the color code or you can select the colors from your document colors. Now what I would do is go ahead and resize this element again. I like the look of that and then drag that down here. Now I could go ahead and do the same with Twitter. So if I go ahead and type in Twitter instead of Facebook and then select Twitter icon, I can come down and select one of these icons and then select the blue color and then simply select the orange. And then all I need to do is resize this icon and then drag that icon next to Facebook. Now again, the sizing is off as you can see down here. So what I can do is go ahead and zoom in and then change the size until I'm happy with the sizing. Then the last icon I wanna add is LinkedIn. And I'm gonna keep the theme the same and select this circle icon and then simply drag that icon and then resize the icon to the size that I like. I'm also gonna go ahead and change the color and then to make it even more perfect, what I'm gonna do is zoom in slightly more and put these icons slightly closer together. And then I'm gonna navigate up here and then copy this text element and then go ahead and paste that element and then change this text to at Stuart Gould. And just like that, I've added my social media icons and this is where people can find me on social media. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and zoom out. Now, if you wanna change any of these elements, all you need to do is navigate over to elements and search for the element that you want to add. There are millions of elements that you can add to your material, to your project. Now, let's say I wanted to change this image. What I could do is navigate over to photos and type in a keyword related to a photo that I wanna use for my business card. You can upload your own media like images that you wanna use for your business card. So under photos, for example, let's navigate up to search photos. I could type in marketing because maybe that's the service I provide. So I can go ahead and type in marketing and then select any of the suggested. I'm gonna select digital marketing. 
And as you can see, I can use any of these images in my business card if I like. All I need to do is find the image that I want to use instead of this image over here. So for example, if I like the look of this image, what I could do is simply click on the image, drag and drop that image over this image to replace it. And I can simply drag and place that image where I like. However, I like the look of the template image I had earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and navigate up to undo in the top left hand corner and then come down and I want to slightly change the placement and I'm happy with that. Now, before we finalize and print our business card, we need to click on the reverse side of our business card so that we can customize this the way that we like before we go ahead and print our business card. So what I'm going to do is actually get rid of this element by right clicking and coming down and clicking delete. Then I'm gonna navigate back over to uploads and then click on upload media to upload a different variation of my logo. And again, this is a logo I made within Canva. So all I need to do is drag and drop each of these elements till I'm happy with their placements and size. So what I'm actually gonna do is get rid of this element and just use my logo for the reverse side of my business card. And as you can see, we have the finished reverse side of our business card and the front of our business card. Now, when you're ready to download or you're ready to print your business cards, all you need to do first is navigate up to download and then go ahead and download a copy of your business card so you can approve the business card, you can get feedback from others before you go ahead and click print business card. Now, when you're ready to print your business card, simply come down and ensure you have double-sided selected if you created a double-sided business card. Then down below, make sure that you have the two pages selected. Then below printing options, make sure you select the right options based on what you want to create. For example, if I selected a hundred copies of these business cards, you can see the associated price with the quantity of business cards. And then Canva offers this 100% happiness guarantee. Then come down and click continue. Then here you'll see the danger zone. So what you wanna do is make sure your elements are within the danger zone. So I'm happy with that. I'm happy with these other elements. Maybe I can move this one backwards. Then down here, we wanna make sure that all of these social media icon elements are within the danger zone. So all I'll do is move those. And I'm happy with that. So go ahead and make sure all your content is within the danger zone before coming down and clicking continue. Then simply select continue again. And then here you just need to add your shipping details and choose the best delivery option for you. And then you can go ahead and continue and download your business cards that you've just created within Canva. And that is everything we wanted to cover so that you can create, design, and then print your own business cards. And there we have it guys, that is it for this business card creation tutorial for beginners. Now if you have any questions about the process for creating your business cards with Canva, make sure to pop those down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.